Hey Hulk, what do you have for us today? Mm, two formulas. Y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form. M is slope. B, y intercept. And point slope form. X1, Y1 is point on line. M is slope. Now go smash some problems. Thanks all for the quick refresher. Thank you, Hulk, for that amazing review on equations of a line. Now, let's take what he reminded us of and put it to practice with some problems. Example one, write the equation in slope-intercept form of the line with slope of six and y-intercept of negative three. Well, first off, they wanted slope-intercept form. We were just reminded that that's in the form y equals mx plus b. Slope is 6, that is m. Y-intercept, negative 3, that's my b. Folks, plug those two numbers in and you're done. That's it. Y equals 6x plus negative 3. You can put plus negative 3, or if you want to put simply minus 3, either form is acceptable. That's example, that's example 1, done. Example two, write the equation again in slope-intercept form. The equation of a line, a slope of negative one and a y-intercept of four. So my slope is now negative one. My y-intercept is now four. Y equals negative one x plus four. Finished. Okay, so let's look at point slope form. Now that equation is a little longer, but it's just as easy. Y minus Y1 equals M times the quantity of X minus X1. Keep in mind, folks, we're only putting in three values, the slope, the X1, and the Y1, and then we leave it alone. Here's my slope. Here is my x1, here is my y1. Plug those three numbers in and stop. y minus 8 equals negative 3 fifths times the quantity of x minus negative 10. That problem is now finished. Occasionally we'll get problems like this. Write the equation in slope-intercept form for a line containing 4, 9, and negative 2, 0. Notice they want slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. I don't have a slope, nor do I have a y-intercept at this point. But from the other lesson, we learned how to calculate slope using two points. Slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if I plug in my values, 0 minus 9 over negative 2 minus 4. Negative 2 minus 4. I end up with negative 9 over negative 6. Simplify that and make it easier for you to use. Negative divided by negative is a positive. 9 over 6 reduces to so my slope is 3 over 2. Now we have a couple different options on how to find the y-intercept. You could use point slope form and solve for y or I'm going to use this form. Watch this. I'm going to use this formula. I know my slope. And I'm going to use either one of these points to solve for B. doesn't matter which one you use. It'll still come out the same. I'm going to use 
0, negative 2. So 0, or negative 2, 0. Negative 2 is x. 0 is y. Plus b. Solve for b. 0 equals, what is negative 3 over 2 times negative 2? The 2's cancel, and you end up with negative 3 plus b. Continuing to solve for b, b equals 3. Now I have my y-intercept. Last step, plug your slope and your y-intercept into this formula and be done. y equals 3 over 2x plus 3. Finished. Now, a key concept for geometry right now is what happens with horizontal and vertical lines. Remember previous lesson, one horizontal line is always perpendicular to a vertical line. But what do their equations look like? Well, if I have a horizontal line, that's always y equals whatever your y-intercept. So it's y equals some number. So this horizontal line is y equals negative 3 because I crossed the y-axis at negative 3. Vertical line is x equals some number. That number would be the x-intercept. So this vertical line crosses the x-axis at negative 2. So the equation for this vertical line is x equals negative 2. So horizontal lines is y equals a number. Vertical lines is x equals some number. Now, we've been talking lately about parallel lines, perpendicular lines. Let's do a little more of that. Write the equation in slope-intercept form. Okay, there's a key right there, slope-intercept form. So my final answer should look like this. For a line that is perpendicular, now that's a key word right there, perpendicular, to the line y equals 1 fifth x plus 2 and goes through to 0. Now, I want it perpendicular to this line. What is the slope right now of this line? The slope of this line is... If I want the equation of a line perpendicular to it, what do I have to remember? Mm, perpendicular lines. Slopes are opposite reciprocals. Good job, Hulk. Slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocal. So I'm not going to use 1 fifth. I'm going to use, change a sign, flip it, negative 5 over 1. So my slope is going to be negative. 5 over 1. If you want to put just negative 5, that's fine. I like to keep ratios. But it has to go through this point. So now, again, I don't know my y-intercept, so I have to figure that part out. Again, I love using this formula because it does everything I need right now. If I'm going through this point, here's my x, here's my y. I know my m. So I know y, I know m, I know x, I can solve for b. So I have 0 equals negative 5 times 2 plus b. Solve for b. 0 equals negative 10 plus b. So my y-intercept in this case is 10. Last step, write the equation. y equals negative 5 over 1x plus 10. This is perpendicular to this. Opposite reciprocals for perpendicular lines. Let's try that one more time. Again, slope-intercept form. Whoops. Perpendicular to this. So again, we're still dealing with perpendicular. Love technology. 
but now it goes through this point. So again, what is the slope of this line? The current slope of this line is one-third. Perpendicular to one-third. What is perpendicular to one-third? That would mean my slope that I'm going to use is negative 3 over 1. Change the sign, flip it. Notice on the last problem, once I got the slope from this, I didn't use anything else. The 2 has nothing else to do with the rest of the problem. Here's my x. Here's my y. So again, we got to solve for b. y is 8. m is negative 3 x is 0 plus b. Negative 3 times 0. So in this case, my y-intercept is 8. Now, if you're paying attention, folks, technically we didn't even have to solve for b. If your point has a 0 for x, that means this is your y-intercept, but that only works if your x is zero. So my final answer y equals negative three over one x plus eight. Again, if you just have negative three here, that's fine. I like the ratios. Hmm, this one seems a little different. Write an equation of the line passing through the point so it's going through point 1, negative 1, parallel to the line with the equation of this, y equals 2x minus 1. So now we're talking parallel. What's the key thing to remember about parallel lines? Parallel lines have same slope. Correct again, Hulk. So the slope of this one now, negative 2. Again, we're dealing with parallel. Keep that slope, do not change it. They have the same slope. X, Y, and M solve for B. So I have five equals negative two times negative two plus B. Negative two times negative two is a positive four. Subtract 4 from both sides. Go ahead, I'll wait for you to put it in your calculator. 1 equals b. Then, final step, plug everything in. y equals negative 2x plus 1. Finished. So equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Remember, parallel lines, same slope. Perpendicular lines, opposite reciprocals. Thanks again, Holt, for helping us out today.